Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Francie and I am so happy that you have decided to join me today because we are starting a brand new series. Okay, how many times have you come across the words pen name? How many times have you come across the word pen name when it comes to cozy mystery authors? It can be extremely confusing. And then there are some out there who say, what do you mean by a pen name, Mr. Francie. Don't worry. Whether you are aware that there are pen names out there, not aware that there are pen names out there, aware that there are some pen names out there for some, but didn't know that others had pen names, I have you covered. Thanks in extremely large part to my dear friend Cozy Ro, who runs the Killing Time with Cozy Discords, we are starting this new series called Spotlighting Cozy Author pen names, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So, I know you all want to get right into it, so let's do just that. As I say, welcome or welcome back to Mr. Francie Reads! <laughs> Okay, so as I said, my dear friend Cozy is to thank in large part because she did a ton of research, you guys. A ton of research that really cannot be appreciated until you, like me, are planning on spending 10 minutes to prep for a video and you end up taking two hours and you only get halfway through. I mean, <laughs> she has done so much research. We have you completely covered. Now, this series may be broken up into different sections, like Series A, Series B, Series C, but in this first lot of this series, so not this first video, but the first lot of the series, we are going to cover the first 27 cozy mystery authors that have a pen name. That's right, the first 27. There are many more than that. <laughs> And it took me hours to list everything that I needed to list. So, we're going to jump right in. Before we do, what is a pen name? I'm sure some of you are asking. A pen name is a name that an author, in this case a cozy mystery author, is using as the author name on their book that may not necessarily be their name. So I have a great example that I'd like to show you. One of my all-time favorite cozy mystery books is this one, 12 Slays of Christmas by Jacqueline Frost. And I kind of stumbled into this series when I first uh, into this uh, spotlighting series we're doing when I started talking about this book. I love this series so much, and when I finished this book, I was praising the name of Jacqueline Frost. And then I had a lot of you come back to me and say, uh, Mr. Fancy, you do realize that Jacqueline Frost isn't her real name, right? What is her real name? Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out because we will eventually uncover what her real name is and if she's published other books under that name. So yeah, now let's get to the question of why have pen names? And for the sake of some cozy authors, they have multiple pen names, not just one or two. Some have like five different names. And why do this? Well, from the little research that I've done, what I've uncovered is that it's either to do with the, when it comes to a cozy mystery, it's either to do with the sub-genre of the cozy. So maybe they're doing a paranormal cozy mystery series and they want uh, the name to be a certain name for that paranormal series, and then they're going to write a culinary cozy mystery series, so they want a different name for that culinary cozy mystery series, and so on and so forth. So outside of cozy mysteries, it's definitely done for different genres that authors write, but inside of cozy mysteries, it comes down to that sub-genre. What is the cozy side of the cozy mystery? What is the profession that we are following? Is this about a girl who is working in a candy shop, or a woman, I should say? Is it about a, a woman who is uh, writing a column? Is it about a man who works in a bookstore? 
is it about a woman who's restoring old typewriters? I mean, it really, there are so many different types of subgenres, and so it seems that that is one of the reasons. Another reason that I've come across is because different publishers may want to publish an author's work under a different name, so not to confuse the author name that a previous publisher had used. All right, now that you have that information, take out a pad and pen, if you're like me and you like to physically write things down, or take out some form of equipment where you can take notes, because we are going to start this journey. I'm going to tell you what their original name is, and I'm going to give you one series and the first book in that series of that original author's name, and then for every pen name they have, I'm going to tell you what that name is, one series that that uh, author has written under that pen name, and the first book in that series. You know that this is going to become like a home shopping network, so grab your writing equipment, grab a nice drink. Of course, I have my coffee on me, because we all know Mr. Francie has his diva moments when he doesn't have his coffee. It is right here. <laughs> And let's get to writing, shall we? I'm going to do this in alphabetical order for those first 27. So we're going to start with the letter A, and we're going to move in alphabetical order with the author's real name, their surname. First cap of the rank is an author by the name of Christy Abbott. Now, you may or may not know this author, but uh, one of the series that she is known for is the Popcorn Shop Mystery Series. Book number one is this book, Kernel of Truth. This is actually a book I'm currently reading. I'm about seven chapters into, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Now, I'm not going to have time to give you premises of all the books because I have way too many to discuss, but I'll hopefully keep the book up long enough for you to freeze frame, write down the name, and then you can go to Goodreads and check that out for yourself. But yes, Christy Abbott does uh, uh, have this work published under her real name. Now, under her pen name, her pen name is Lillian Bell. And as Lillian Bell, she is known for the A Funeral Parlor mystery series. And book number one for that series is this book, A Grave Issue. I like that title. I mean, a funeral parlor mystery series? Really? For a cozy? How very interesting. So if you love the popcorn shop mystery series and you want to read more Christy Abbott, might I suggest picking up A Grave Issue by Lillian Bell because it's the same author, just a different name. Let's move on. And the next cap of the rank that we have is Riley Adams. Okay, so you may have heard of this series, which is the Memphis Barbecue Mystery Series. Book number one in this series is called Delicious and Suspicious. I love that title. <laughs> now, if you know this series or you've read this series and you want to read more from Riley Adams, Riley Adams also writes under a pen name, and that pen name is Elizabeth Span Craig. So, the series uh, that is uh, known under that name, or one of them, is the Myrtle uh, Culver, or Clover, I may have written that incorrectly, mystery series. In any case, book number one is called Pretty Is As Pretty Dies. Are you serious? <laughs> I love that title. <laughs> pretty Is As Pretty Dies. <laughs> I just, I want to read the book just for that title. <laughs> so, that is that one. All right, we're going to keep moving forward. The pause button in this video is your friend if you want to write these books down. The next one in the A's is a very, very well-known cozy mystery author, at least in the killing time with cozy circles that I know I hear about her all the time. Her name is Ellie Alexander. Now, you may know Ellie Alexander for her famous A Bake Shop mystery series. Book number one in this series is called... Meet Your Baker. This is a series that will be on my SAS list in 2023, and I'm incredibly excited to get to it. But if you've read this series and you're thinking to yourself, I want to read more Ellie Alexander, why not try the series out that is under her pen name? Now, her pen name is Kate Dyer Seeley. And the series that I'm recommending to you is called the Pacific Northwest Mystery Series. Book number one is called Scene of the Climb. <laughs> Not Scene of the Crime, but Scene of the Climb. <laughs> Definitely give that one a go if you'd like to read more Ellie Alexander under her pen name. All right, moving on to the next one. We have Connie Archer. And you may know of the Soup Lovers Mystery Series. Book number one is called A Spoonful of Murder. 
there you go. Now, if you've read this series, I will recommend her pen name series. And if you've read the pen name series, you may want to go and read this one. All right. So, uh, Connie Archer's pen name is Connie, uh, DeMarco, DeMarco. And that series is called the Zodiac Mystery Series. Book number one is called The Madness of Mercury. Ooh, ooh. I mean, the Zodiac Mystery Series, you've already got me intrigued. The Madness of Mercury. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so there you go. All right, we're going to move on to the bees now. Okay, so these are cozy mystery authors whose uh, original surname begins with the letter B, and we're going to start off with a cozy mystery author whose name is Heather Blake. So the uh, series I'm going to recommend to you by uh, Heather Blake is called the Wishcraft Mystery Series. Book number one is called It Takes a Wish. <laughs> I mean... It takes a witch. I'm so sorry. It takes a witch. Indeed, it does. Okay. <laughs> now, if you've heard of this series or you want to read more from Heather Blake, she writes under the pen name of Heather Weber. As Hena Heather Weber, she writes the series called the Nina Quinn series. Book number one is called A Whole Lot of Trouble. <laughs> uh, yes, Heather Blake, a.k.a. Heather Weber. All right, the next one we have is Melissa Bourbon. I'm hoping I'm saying this right. Now, this is really, really funny. I knew her pen name, and now I'm learning her real name. So her real name is Heather Blake, and the series, uh, one of the series she's known for is the Magical Dressing Mystery Series. Book number one is called Pleating for Murder. <laughs> These titles, they're just so great. But her pen name is Winnie Archer. And the moment I saw that, I went, I know this name. And the reason I know this name is because of the book and the series I'm going to tell you. I purchased a subscription to Scribd. I think it was early this year or late last year. And the moment I did, one of the first books I saved that I still haven't listened to yet was this book. So the series is called The Bread Shop Mystery Series. And book number one is called Needed for Death. Needed to Death. <laughs> Needed to death. <laughs> I love baking. It sounds right like it's right up my alley. So yeah, I mean, this could work both ways. Maybe you already knew of Melissa Bourbon, but you did not know that she writes under the pen name of Winnie Archer. Or maybe like me, you knew of Winnie Archer, but you did not know that her original, her um, real name is uh, Melissa Bourbon. <laughs> it works both ways. Enjoy. Okay. Next up, we have Lucy Burdett. And uh, for Lucy Burdett, you may have heard of the series, the Key West Food Critic Mystery Series. Book number one is An Appetite for Murder. There you go. And if you have heard of that series, or if you love that series, you may want to read a little bit more of Lucy Burdett. Well, she writes under the pen name of Roberta or Roberta Islieb, I hope I'm saying that right. We'll have the name on the screen in just a minute. Now, the name of this series does intrigue me. It is the Advice Column Mystery Series. That has me very intrigued. I love Advice Columns. It's right up my alley. Anyway, book number one is called Deadly Advice. I mean, I mean, these titles may not write themselves, but once you know the title, I feel like the title will have the book write itself. <laughs> So there you go. Whether you know of Lucy Burdett or Roberta Islieb, they are both the same author. Check out those books. The next one is Molly Cox Bryan. And the series you may have heard of is called the Cumberland Creek Mystery Series. Book number one is called Scrapbook of Secrets. Ooh. <laughs> now, if you've heard of this series or read it or want to read more of Molly Cox Bryan, you may not know that she writes under the pen name of Maggie Blackburn. And Maggie Blackburn is known for the series The Cora Crafts Mystery Series. Book number one, I love this title, is called Death Among the Doilies. Of all things, Among the Doilies. <laughs> yes, I'm already laughing and I haven't even picked up the book yet. <laughs> so, there are those interchangeable names for you. Molly Cox Bryan, a.k.a. Maggie Blackburn. But that is where I'm going to leave it for today. I know. 
I know, I'm already hearing, oh, but Mr. Francie, just one more. Not today, but I will be back again very soon. And when I return, we are going to do C and D. Yes, author surnames that are C and D for this first part of the list, the first 27. <laughs> oh my goodness me. But I hope that is enough to keep you going for the time being. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more in this series, let me know in the comments below. Also, take the time to thank the wonderful Cozy Row because without the uh, tons of research that she has done, this series would not at all be possible. I know that you're thankful for her. I am too. Thank you, Cozy. Let her know in the comments section below. But in the meantime, that is where we're going to leave it for this very first episode of Spotlighting Cozy Author Pen Names. Letting you guys go with peace, blessings, and so, so, so much love. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you again soon. Mwah. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Be kind, love one another, and spread your sparkling energy all throughout the world. And until next time, happy reading!